Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I'd like to show you how to use the Flex Control Panel to trigger macros. Now macros are a way for you to record multiple actions on the TriCaster, like for example, uh, let's transition to camera one, bring up a lower third for five seconds, then transition the lower third off screen. Now you can do all of that by hand on the flex control panel, but macros help automate this process, which helps streamline your workflow, especially when having a large amount of operations that you know that you'll repeat many times. And the flex control panel allows you to map these macros to buttons on the flex for quick access. Very simple, but very powerful. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface open and I have my flex control panel here on my desk. So let's combine these two and start playing around with macros. So uh, first thing, let me go ahead and go into my macro editor on my TriCaster 2 Elite and show you what I have cooking over here. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. There we go. All right. So uh, I have two macros here. Uh, one of them is going to be my show intro. And if I play that out, you'll see it'll uh, switch from my buffer number one and it'll zoom into my virtual set, bring up a lower third and a live bug, and then bring those off screen from the lower third off screen here in a second, like so. Cool. And then I have another macro that basically just goes through and resets everything. So that'll be the macro that I have up here called reset. Let's go ahead and hit play that. And that'll just take everything back to my starter position. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to assign those particular buttons uh, to a, a, a button on my control panel here. Okay. So uh, to do that within the uh, interface, so let's go back into my show intro. I can click it. There we go. So you'll see at the bottom here, I have options to uh, uh, use external triggers to control these macros. So if I click on one of these, you'll see that it is now listening for a command from a, a certain piece of hardware, okay? So uh, in order to do this, let me go ahead and show you on my control panel here. I'm gonna zoom in. And basically what you need to do is hold down this macro button like so. And when you do that, all the, you'll see that all the lights on the control panel uh, turn off because now I can assign it to pretty much any button that I have here in my control panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my program one button, like so. And what's awesome about this is now you'll see that it has the name of the macro that I have on here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go back over to my TriCaster and I'll release the macro button here. Uh, well, actually, I need to hold it down. So in order to uh, have these uh, uh, macros triggered, like, for example, if I just hit this button right now, well, it's going to go to my program button, which I don't want to do. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and put this back to the shot that I had it on, which was my buffer number one, like so. Do, do, do. Okay, and now uh, I will basically go through, and on my control panel, I'll hold down macro and then hit show intro. And let it go, and boom, there it goes. Ta-da! Hey! So I made that really easy on myself. I don't have to do any of these controls, you know, um, I, you know, every time I want to start up my show intro here. So let's do the same thing for the, the reset button. I'll go back into my macros. I'll go to configure macros. Like that, all right. And I'll go to reset. And I'll say, let's assign this to a trigger here. So I'll do the same thing. I'll hold down macro, and then I'll put that on to number two. So now those are right next to each other. So now all I have to do is say, all right, I'll go to macro, and let's just go ahead and reset that. Everything goes back to normal, et cetera. OK? So uh, now one thing I wanted to point out here is when uh, we're on this menu here, basically, if you assign it to a button on your program row here on this top row, uh, you'll be able to see the name of that macro. But let's say here on the reset side of things, let me clear that out on the interface. All right, so now you'll see that goes away. Uh, so what I want to do now is I'm going to assign it to a different button, just somewhere completely different. So uh, I'm going to hit listen for the macro, and I'm going to put it up here on my uh, downstream keyer selector. 
All right. Now you see that that lights up as well, but there's no name underneath because I don't have it on uh, any of these buttons on this particular row. So keep that in mind. Uh, so whenever you're having these macros, uh, you can do it pretty much however you want, but just whenever uh, you have it on this particular row here, what you normally be your program row, that's where you're going to be able to see the name on the LED screen. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and do that all over again. I'll show you that. Let's hit macro, do my show intro. Bam's going to fire off here. I'll let them do their banter. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Cool. And then I can go about my regularly scheduled broadcast. All right. And then if I hit macro over here and I want to reset it. Cool. There you go. Cut and dry. All right. Now, what's also awesome about this is let me take this reset button off and I'll listen for another trigger. So uh, what you can do on the uh, uh, flex control panel is, like I said, that you can put this on pretty much any button uh, that's on here. The only buttons that you can't assign a macro to are going to be these ones up here at the, at the top uh, where the stripe, mem, comp, and talkback feature are. All right, so let's go ahead and try that out. I'm going to listen for a new macro, so I'll hold that macro again, and I'm just going to put it over onto, eh, let's put it on the stop button here, just right in the middle. Bam. Cool. All right, so uh, again, I know it's a little bit laborious, but I'll show you that anyway. I can say show intro. There we go, doing a thing. All right. I'm going to look for that to end. Cool. And then I'll go back to macro here and hit this button and resets it. Okay, so kind of a, a quick little way of showing you how you can use uh, the assigned macros to your flex control panel. Uh, now you can pretty much load these up with as many macros as you want, as many as you can fit, etc. It's kind of up to you. But again, very powerful tool. I highly recommend playing around with it. And of course, have some fun. There you have it, another powerful way to use the flex control panel. So for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized new tech product training and an opportunity to get TriCaster certified, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And as always, if you're working uh, with new tech products and posting it on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags NewTech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you are working on. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.